Hello, my name is Arthur, and in the last video we were cleaning up script, and I've been um, organizing and cleaning up my project file. So I've made a new project file, and came across another search bar bug. So I'm not sure, this might have been here for a while and I just haven't noticed because because I just haven't noticed yet but I discovered it so we'll deal with that so yeah the problem is um, our search bar being grabby so it's being um, cursor grabby because we made the search active and when I made it highlight words, I made it so that it would um, grab focus away so to prevent accidental deletions. But I didn't, um, I didn't consider the what was going on when when that happened. So we'll have to fix that bug, and. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right here with this else statement. So, we're basically assuming that we're always going to be grabbing focus away. So, we have this where we grab focus away because we want to do this. So, these things should actually be conditional. And so should the grab focus. So it's not an if or else. Um, it's going to return false if there's no results. But it's not going to grab focus all of the time. We don't want it to do that. So we're going to take that out. We're going to put it down here. So we'll only select the results, grab focus, and scroll to the iter in the event that um, the search bar has focus. So we grab focus away to prevent accidental deletions, but when we're typing in the search field, we still want it to be active. So if we have searched the word iter, and we're typing the word enter it would still get highlighted but it won't it will get highlighted green it won't get selected and the focus won't get grabbed out of our text field which that's just not workable so yeah what we would do is we would go if if we're typing in the search bar gdk widget is focus and we want to check the search field so if the search field is focus then do these things. And that should re resolve that issue. Okay, let's try that out. I think I had this bug before and I thought it was resolved.
that's again me um, pressing forward and not doing enough testing. So now if we type in here, it shouldn't grab focus, but it should remain active. So that seems to fix that issue. And yeah, I'm not, not sure how long that issue has been there, but sooner or later I discover them. And when I discover bugs, I'll make videos to go, oops, whoops. <laughs> so we'll just say, whoops. So the next thing I was looking at was this boolean and it keeps keeps bothering me because it's not very worthwhile. So it's only toggled on and off and it's really just a way to avoid um, to work around me not knowing how to check things. So let's fix that one now. So we have the, what we're actually doing here is we're cheating on looking at if the, if the search bar is visible. So we'll call a new variable that is not global search bar visible. And we'll get, oh, GDK widget, GDK widget, get visible. And the widget is search box. Which is, um... the function call to get the search box. So that should be equals GDK widget get visible. And then yeah we can shorten that if up uh, let's go int length equals and we'll get the length here like this so we'll just cut that out of here paste it here let's make sure everything looks right now so if length is greater than zero and search bar let's go like that search bar visible then it will search the text so the two functions are related the one we just fixed and this one because this is key release that happens inside of the text view so yeah, we were typing in the text view, it's telling it to search text. The search text gets search results, and then it was grabbing the cursor back into the search bar. So that looks good. We'll go out, and we'll take these out now. So we'll just go to the search results, and remove that that and that we'll save and we'll compile so that compiles fine we'll get a test document we'll do a search and replace Oh, 
Okay, so that runs into a problem. So for some reason that's broken previous and next. So we'll just have a look at why that is. So, I see what the problem is there. So, instead of um, checking if the widget is focused, we're going to check that the text view is not focused. Widget is not focused. Book. At page dot view so I'll try that and that hopefully will resolve the issue and that left us with one too few brackets okay there we go and now we'll see if we're all functional. So we'll do a search. We'll type some text. We'll type the word iter. We'll check previous next. So that's all working, and yeah, we're able to type in our text again with the search bar active. So that seems to fix the issues and um, get rid of one more global declared variable. Or yeah, that one was a variable. So that kind of leaves the iters, and I'm still not sure on what to do with those, but um, what we're going to do now is we'll come back in the next video. I've reorganized my project file, and we're going to shoot for breaking this down, doing a header file or two, and breaking this program down into some pieces. So we'll break it down into kind of the things that are the notebook and the things that do things for the notebook. So that'll be a little bit of reorganizing. Um, we'll go through and organize, move some functions around like this one. And then we'll look at taking everything from cut, copy, delete up to highlight search result and moving them into a second file. And then maybe taking the clipboard operations and putting them into a third file. So we would more or less have... Um, main we'd have a clipboard we'd have 
the search function for the search bar into separate C files with header files to declare things. So something along those lines, try to learn how to use a header file and to not write everything all into one file sort of direction. So hopefully that's got um, the bugs resolved. I'm not sure how long that one's been there. It's been there for a little while though and I just haven't noticed it. So yeah, that's that's a thing. Sometimes I don't notice the bugs until later and then I have to come back and do a fix for something that I broke inadvertently. So hopefully everything is um, reasonably bu bug free again and until the next video take care